Brooklyn Park Police say a man attempting to stab a woman was shot and killed by an on-duty security guard at the Huntington Place Apartments Monday night. Police say they responded to the incident just before midnight. They say the security guard heard a woman scream for help and witnessed a man attempting to stab a woman with a knife near the front entrance. Police say the security guard, who was licensed to carry, then shot the 62-year-old man after he refused to drop his knife. He was transported to a local hospital where he died. The preliminary investigation does really determine that the security guard likely saved this woman's life. It sounded like it was a very dangerous, hostile situation where this male was attacking the female um, and he uh, likely saved her life. The man's name has not been released. The woman has minor injuries. Police say the man and woman were in a relationship. Meanwhile, just before 7 Monday evening, Brooklyn Park Police responded to a large fight that led to a stabbing on a Metro Transit bus. Police say the bus was going northbound on 63rd and Zane when it stopped after 911 calls about a fight on the bus. Police say a group of people were arguing then started fighting before a teen boy was stabbed. Police say the boy has minor injuries and is expected to be okay. Police arrested a suspect. A New Hope man is facing charges after being accused of storing a large amount of heroin in his apartment. Gregory Carter is charged with fifth degree felony drug possession as well as illegal possession of a firearm. According to a criminal complaint, Carter was using his apartment to store drugs. Police executed a search warrant and found, quote, a large quantity of heroin in the toilet. According to the criminal complaint, police also recovered a handgun. Carter is not allowed to own firearms because of a previous felony drug conviction. Maple Grove could soon welcome an indoor pickleball facility with a restaurant and beer hall. Ryan Companies is the applicant behind the future business called Pints and Paddle. The venue would be located in the Grove Shopping Center between Target and Home Depot. It would include 10 pickleball courts and feature a restaurant with a self-serve tap room. The Maple Grove City Council approved the project at Monday's meeting. Construction on the facility is planned for fall with the possibility of opening sometime next year. The city of Robbinsdale is working to find a new group of haulers to collect yard waste through the end of the year. The city council this week approved a request for the city to see quotes from potential yard waste haulers. Yard waste pickup became an issue in the city in May when its current hauler, Waste Management, suspended collection to focus on garbage and recycling pickup. Under the potential new arrangement, city officials say residents would not be charged with any extra costs. Officials also say Waste Management would be responsible for any costs that exceed the current yard waste contract. A unique pizza restaurant in Maple Grove has launched an effort to expand its reach. In this week's edition of Takeout Tuesday, Delane Cleveland takes us inside Pizza Karma, which is taking its show on the road this summer. Check one, two. Hours before every major concert at the Hilly Performance Center in Plymouth, Musicians rehearse, while others set up for a big event that will draw thousands. Here comes the tikka sauce. Many of those people will need to be fed. It's good. And one of the options for those concert goers is pizza karma. And finally the cheese. Which serves a unique style of tandoor fire pizza. Little bit Indian spice, which everyone loves here. <laughs> the food truck launched earlier this summer to considerable fanfare. Based on the response that we have, at this point, it is overwhelming for the food truck. So this runs around 580 to 600 degree Fahrenheit. Divya Jagannathan is the VP of operations at Pizza Karma. So Pizza Karma is all about bringing in global flavors locally and being part of the community. And we also stand for sustainable products. What sets Pizza Karma apart from others is their crust. They make it using buttermilk. But the other big difference is that they cook it in a clay tandoor oven set at nearly 600 degrees. The dough is slapped to the wall, they pop the bubbles that form to make it flatter, and then apply toppings like lamb and a green spinach mustard sauce for a unique flavor. I love Indian food. Obviously putting tikka on pizza, that just sounds fabulous to me, you know? If you talk to customers... The crust that they make in tandoor, Real tandoor and especially looking at, you know, how they cook it in front of you is amazing. You'll likely hear some positive endorsements. I love the authentic tikka sauce on the pizza. Pizza Karma experienced its fair share of struggles during the height of COVID. 
But with a delicious product and a new food truck to help expand their customer base, the hope is that good karma is coming around to Pizza Karma. It's been really good. This three months has been really, really busy. Yep. In Maple Grove, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The first Tuesday in August marks an opportunity to get to know your neighbors. In Maple Grove, the city celebrated the occasion with a free midday cookout. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Maple Grove Police helped host a national night out kickoff event at the Maple Grove Community Center Tuesday morning. Neighborhoods can register to host a block party. Police say it's a great way not only to meet neighbors, but to help prevent crime. First step in crime prevention is knowing your neighbors. You know, if you can't tell the difference between a neighbor and a stranger, you have a problem. In addition to a cookout, Maple Grove also collected school supplies to help kids get ready for the coming school year.